Hello everyone. One student asked me, Sir, the decomposition is lossy. It is meaning that it should lose some tuples. Is my statement correct? Then my answer to the question to the student is no. You are not going to lose any tuples. You are going to get extra tuples. Then student asked me, Sir, why we are getting extra tuples? Because the name says lossy. But why we are getting extra tuples? What are those extra tuples? Why those are possible? Then to answer this question, I am making one video to explain you very clearly why lossy decomposition causes extra tuples. And those extra tuples are called spurious tuples. Here we will understand this concept very clearly with a simple exam. Let us say, have some relation R having three attributes A, B and C. Having some tuples A1, B1 and C1. A2, B1, C1. A1, B2, C. This is a relation. Suppose if this relation is decomposed into R1 and R2. It means it is decomposed into two tables. And where R1 is AB and R2 is AC. Suppose we decompose it in this way. AB, AC. Now what will be the tuples in R1? Understand R1 will have tuples A1, B1, A2, B1, a1, B2. AC, look, AC combinations, A1, C1, A2, C1, and A1, C2. Now the question is, is this decomposition lossy or lossless? How to verify the decomposition is lossy or lossless? Simple, we have to join these two tables and we should get resultant table. If the resultant table should contain the same tuples of the original relation, then decomposition is lossless. Otherwise, we can say the decomposition is lossy. So, to verify this, we have to perform a join between the two tables. The join between the two tables, I am calling S. How to perform a join? Join is always with respect to some common attribute and the condition is equality condition. As you know that join is a cross product. Join is a cross product. Here the cross product of R1 and R2 contains 3 into 3 means 9 tuples. In that 9 tuples, the tuples satisfying the condition R1 A equal to R2 A is going to be in the output of this join. Now look at A1 equal to A1 is true. A1 equal to A1 is true means for the first tuple, we can get the combination A1, B1, C1 and also we are going to get A1, B1, C2. Correct? Now for the second tuple you look at A2 equal to A2 is matching only with one tuple of R2 relation. So that we are going to get the combination A2, B1, C1. And look for this third tuple A1, B2. A1 equal to A1, A1 equal to A1. Look at A1, B2, C1 and A1, B2, C2. Now look, the join of these two relations R1 and R2 resulted how many tuples? 5 tuples. Now compare this result with the original table. What is the original table having tuples A1, B1 and C1? This tuple is there. A1, B1, C2 is a tuple that is present as the result of R1 join R2, but not present in the R. A2, B1, C1 present. A1, B2, C1, this is also not present. A1, B2, C2 present. Look, all these tuples of R already present in the result. Instead, it is getting two extra tuples. These two extra tuples are called spurious tuples.
these two tuples are called spurious tuples. Spurious tuples is nothing but suspicious tuples, incorrect tuples and showing the wrong data, showing the wrong data. And here this S is not equal to R because S is a resultant relation after joining of two decomposed relations. R is the original relation. The produced relation and the original relation both are not equal. Because both are not equal, we can say this decomposition is a lossy decomposition. Here the decomposition is lossy and resulted some extra tuples called spurious tuples or suspicious tuples or incorrect tuples. Then you may ask me a question. Many students are getting it out. Whatever the tuples that were there in R is also there in S, but getting extra tuples means the obvious question a student gets is, sir, we are not losing any tuples. Then why you are calling it is lossy? The simple thing is, if the decomposition is said to be lossy, even if it is showing some extra tuples, which is representing the wrong information. Let me give a simple example. Suppose your father deposited 10,000 rupees into your account. Okay. So you go to bank ATM and take a mini statement. Assuming before your father deposits 10,000, your account is having a zero rupees. You take a mini statement or you just check for the available balance. It is showing one record stating that available balance is 10,000 rupees. And this is correct and no other records are shown. That is only record is shown. Then I can call it is a correct one. Suppose it is shown available balance is 10,000, one record. It is also shown one more record available balance is 1 crore rupees. Then what will you do? You go to bank and ask the banker to give 10, 1 crore rupees to you because it is showing one record. No, na. Suppose if it is the case, it is shown one record available balance is 10,000 that is actual correct record and it is also shows that available balance is 1 crore debit instead of credit if it is showing debit. Debit means you have to pay to the bank. Will you go to the bank and pay that 1 crore rupees? No. Here the situation is showing that available balance 1 crore credit 1 crore debit both are incorrect records. What are the correct records? Available balance is 10,000. That is your money. That is only the correct one. And the rest, any other records are showing incorrect results. Showing incorrect results also considered as a lossy decomposition. And that showing incorrect tuples are called spurious tuples or suspicious tuples or wrong tuples. It is a meaning that if the decomposition is lossy, you are going to get some extra tuples called spurious tuples. Then you may ask you a question, sir, why extra tuples are getting? So what is the reason behind it? Why we are not getting the less tuples? The question is simple. See, if we decompose any relation into two relations, if we decompose a relation into two relations, we have to join the two relations with respect to some common attribute and the condition is equality. And that common attribute should be primary key in one table, foreign key in another table. Because we know that uh, when we decompose any table into two tables, we have to make sure that there should be a parental relation between the two tables. To have a parental relation between the two tables, we have to use a foreign key constraint. Means some attribute we should take common of two tables in that one attribute in one table is acting as a foreign key. It, the same attribute in the other table should act as a primary key so that the table that has a primary key is called a parent table and the table that has a foreign key attribute is called child table. If we have a proper parent child relationship, then the decomposition is lossless. Now, what happens here? Look here in this case, look, observe the column A because A is a common attribute of R1 and R2. Observe the column A. A is having A1, A1 means duplicate tuples are there, duplicate values are there. Because A is having duplicates, then I can call A is a foreign key attribute. If A is foreign key in R1, A in R2 definitely should be primary key. But look what is A in R2? In A in R2 is also having a duplicates, means it is also acting as a foreign key. Means if it is acting as a foreign key in R2, then opposite table R1, in R1 the common attribute A should be primary key. But is it happened? No. It means 
in both of them a is acting as a foreign key means both r1 and r2 are acting as a child but no parent universal it is not acceptable is child are is child is possible without a parent no never so this decomposition is called lossy because in both of the table it is acting as a foreign key means it is acting as a child it is acting as a foreign key so we can have a duplicate values in the column a when we have a duplicate values in the column a we can have a duplicate mappings look a1 b1 c2 is not there in the original table but it is a duplicate map a1 b2 c1 is also not there in the original table but it is a duplicate map so means joining with respect to foreign key attributes in both the table it is a foreign key foreign key will have a duplicates the duplicate causing the duplicate mappings the duplicate mappings causes extra tuples that tuples are called spurious tuples so what is the conclusion what will be the conclusion the conclusion is the decomposition of r into r1 and r2 is said to be lossless we can say it should be lossless if and only if r1 join r2 equal r means the join of two decomposed relation should be r so it is to be true if the attribute common of r1 and r2 should be key in either r1 table or r2 table or both of the tables let me explain you that point also suppose if we decompose this this r into two tables r1 and r2 look at r1 is ab r2 is bc and uh, this is a1 b1 a2 b1 and a1 b2 and r2 is bc b1 c1 and b2 c1 how join is to be done how to perform a join join is to be performed between the two tables with respect to column b now b is a common attribute b is a common attribute look for b in r1 column we have a duplicates because we have a duplicates b in r1 column will be acting as a foreign key b in r2 column it is not having a duplicate it is acting as a primary key means i can call r2 is a parent and r1 is a child means proper parent child relationship is there between r1 and r2 if we have to join these two tables r1 join with r2 which results to s and gives you the tuples a b c now join is with respect to what common attributes now b1 equal to b1 true the first tuple of r1 matching with only one tuple of r2 that is a1 b1 c1 and a2 b1 this is also having only one match a2 b1 c1 and a1 b2 equal to b2 this is also having one match a1 b2 c1 now look this result is having a1 b1 c1 first tuple is correct a2 b1 c1 second tuple is correct a1 b2 c1 third tuple is also correct so means the resultant relation is same as original relation and therefore the decomposition is called lossless now understand the point when i can call the decomposition is lossless if we decompose a relation r into two relations there must be one attribute common that common attribute should be primary key in one table we call parent and foreign key in another table we can call child if any decomposition happens according to parent and child you don't get any extra tuples you don't lose any tuples and the decomposition is lossless if it won't happen then the decomposition is lossy then you are going to get extra tuples called spurious tuples this is a basic concept about lossy and lossless decomposition this is why you are going to get extra tuples if your decomposition is lossy hope you understood this concept and hope you enjoyed this concept thank you very much just i wanted to share some information about ace engineering academy ace engineering academy is offering offline classes in hyderabad kuttapet and exclusive online classes and uh, we have also have pre recorded lectures through ace online app you can listen to our lectures at your comfort because these are recorded lectures and also we have launched gate data science and artificial intelligence offline classes online classes and pre recorded lectures you can register for our courses and enjoy our lectures thank you wishing you all the best